name is Tracy Clark, um, and I work as an itinerant teacher for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing for St. John's County. There are seven of us that cover the whole entire county. I'm lucky this year because I only have two schools. I'm primarily at, I would say probably about 95% of the time at an elementary school. Okay, so what do we do first? What do we do? Warm up. Right, let's do it together. Are you ready? What do we do first? Okay. So what we're gonna do is like this. Light. L. I. Okay, light. L. I. G. H. A. T. T. Okay, so let's go the other way. L. I. G. H. T. So in the beginning of the activity, we just do a warm up. So it's just to get their bodies moving. So we add, uh, I just pick different words and we do the arm circles and then we're, we're writing the word with our feet. So it's not, you know, <laughs> just writing the words in the air and then writing the words really big. So it's just physical movement, um, but at the same time we're using the words. Okay, you ready? Do both and see which. Bring. B R I N G. Okay, B R I N G. B R I N G. Bring. B R I N G. Bring. Right. What about this one? That's not a word. What's first? Get. Get. What else? Um. Uh. Okay, look. Card. Card. Oh, I got now. Card. Hmm. Leo gets Pokemon. Get. That's get. Right. What other G-E-T? Mom needs to get to school. Get, right. Okay, last. What's our third one? Better. Victoria will get rest, school, become better. Get healthy, get better, right, good. Okay, you ready? Ready to read? You excited? Zots. Yep. So get which of the three? Get clean. So Zots gets what? Clean. Yep. With him, we saw the word get. Um, so we reviewed the three when he was looking at just the, the, it's multiple meaning and there's three meanings. He wasn't getting it at first. So he was able to look at the sentence that he created and the picture he drew. He was able to get it. And then when we brought it over to the reading, he was able to actually use the, the sign for get that he didn't come up with when, it, when I was just asking him for all the meanings. So, um, so we used those words and concepts and meanings to bridge it over to the reading so that it could support, um, support the comprehension. And all of these uh, students have made significant gains um, in their reading um, and, you know, and writing too and their spelling. Um, we've had students that have, we have started out with us and they were below grade level and then using these curriculum throughout the year, they're actually, they were actually on level at the end of, of the year. So they've made the growth with their class, but in addition, they've, you know, they've made up ground and, and they're now functioning on grade level. RMTC has been a fantastic support for all of us. I mean, I think everyone, even if you're in the classroom or deaf, hard of hearing as an itinerant, um, all the trainings that they provide, the support, anytime we have a question or, uh, I mean, I think I will text, call, email, just with a random thought as things pop up, like, oh, I'm not sure how to do this. Um, so they're a fantastic support in all areas. All of the curriculum and the follow-up support has just been 
so valuable to us because I think we've all gone to trainings where we sit there and it's just a fantastic training and, we, and we're so excited to go back and you know start using it and everything and then you get to you get there and you're and you just forget <laughs> or you're not sure exactly how to get through it or what did how did we use this or how did this come in and they're just a great support to have that follow-up support for all of the things they provide um just is something that we can't do without so <laughs> we need you know we definitely having them in the world of deaf hard of hearing education is is fantastic and thank you mm -hmm.